Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Would love it if you would join the Jojo Lux family. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. If you like the video, hit a like. So, a couple of things I want to cover off in this video. Basically today, I've had the best day. I took myself to London and went to Harrods on my own. I had an appointment there uh, at the wellness clinic. That's another story. Um, I want to sort out the pigmentation on my face and they've got the best laser. So I anyway, did that. And I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Firstly, bag of the day. I use this little cutie. So this is my Nano Speedy that I picked up um, about a week after launch. Uh, I'm going to take the strap off. And I just thought I would show you what fitted in this little guy and give you my first impressions of, of really using it. So here it is. Dinky dinky diddy little bag. In past videos I have given all the measurements and everything but I just thought I would talk to you about using my experience of using this and I'll show you what I've got in. This is literally what I had today so it's a real what I used. Now I did a 20 minute walk from my house to the train station and then got a train, more walking, two tubes <laughs> and then eventually made it to Harrods and then came all the way back. So I was wearing this for quite a while. It's got a decent weight to it but that's because I've got a lot in here. Um, and I loved it. I was walking around going this is so comfortable to wear. I was wearing it cross body using the long strap. It was so comfortable to wear. It was so easy to access. This zip, uh, this zip is just like butter. It's so easy. Even just on, you can just do it. And I was worried that I wouldn't be able to find my items. I've got no organisation pouches or anything in this. You can fit them in, but to me they take up too much room, so I've just dumped stuff in. But my God, I could find everything really easily. And I don't find the access a problem at all. And I also found it really secure, you know, it's oh, that was closures and God knows why, it was chaos at London Bridge today. Um, and also I was in quite a crowded area, but I felt really secure, you know, it's right in front of me, it's zipped up, and I just felt like it was really secure. Um, also like it wasn't sticking out too much on my body, so just general walking about wearing it, really, really comfortable and really, really functional. Now what's in here? I'm going to pull them out things out and just show you. Now this isn't completely stuffed, now I wouldn't put, <laughs> there's not much more that would fit, I'm going to tell you that, there's not much more, but it's not bursting at the seams in any way at all. Now I started off with this a lot more better, a lot better packed, but I've used it throughout the day, I've been taking items out in various orders and just shoving them back in, so that's what it's like. So I have, first off, I have here my Reverso, um, my Monogram Reverse flat card holder, because that is the card holder that I tend to use with this little bag, so it's got all my credit cards and my um, travel pass in there. I also have two plasters, because just in case my, I was doing, I knew I was doing a lot of walking, so just in case the trainers that I haven't worn for about a year rub the back of my feet. Thought ahead. I have my Apple AirPods Pro. I have a little hairbrush. Oh, there's more. I have a sanitizer spray. A face mask. Silk. Hourglass compact makeup brush. To go with that, I have my Chantecay Perfect Blur Finishing Powder, which I didn't even use. A small body shop hand cream. Oh, we're still going. Victoria Beckham lipstick in the shade Spark. Great lipstick. Not what I'm wearing right now, but um, to go with that, we have the Victoria Beckham lip pencil in shade number three. 
I have a nano bag mini in case I need in case I picked anything up and needed to carry it in something that was bigger than this. We have a silk scrunchie in case it was windy and I wanted to put my hair back without getting too knotty. Um, in case I wanted to do any further touch-ups, I have this NARS concealer in the shade Custard, I believe. Yes. And is that it? Oh, we have a packet of tissues. Got these from Amazon. These are great miniature tissues. And finally, we have my phone. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro. So not the big one, just the standard size. And that's it. Terrific bag. Terrific. Pre-cheated pre uh, Vachetta. I just, now it feels like, <laughs> I absolutely, absolutely love this little guy. Um, and I just can't believe, you know, everything that went in. I'm just going to show you quickly. I've just moved that so I can show you quickly everything that did go in. Okay. Oops, whoopsies. It's a problem with moving things in tripods. But yeah, there you go. That's everything next to me. Wow. And we've put you back. Right. Now, I was wearing this over my shoulders, but it's fallen off, whatevs. So. What's in here? Now, since I last bought something in store from Burberry, they've completely changed their packaging. They still had the gold bags when I went. I have been thinking about buying a Burberry trench coat for probably four to five years. Years! I've tried them on. Since I looked, they were originally had the Sandringham, which is what I was going to go for. Then they got replaced by the Chelsea, which was an even slimmer fit than the Sandringham. Now, the Chelsea <laughs> has been um, revamped, so it's pretty much the same style as the Sandringham was. So not as slim, it was really quite tightly cut apparently before the first time they brought it around. Um, I was going to buy either short or medium. I've bought long. I am so happy with my choice and I am so happy. I obviously something stopped me buying it those years when I kept trying. So obviously something stopped me doing it. This sometimes happens. If I procrastinate too much, I think it's obviously not the right item for me. This I did. Um, I bought this from Burberry in Harrods in London. I used my um, rewards loyalty card to get like an extra 10% off as well because I'm a gold tier member I was able to nominate a day which I've never done I just let it go to waste normally because there's not that many brands you can use it on Burberry is one so that was really nice to say 10% and yeah I was I'm just very happy so I'm going to unbox it and show you um, I tried it on as well if you want I'll do some mod shots show you what it looks like on me um, probably look better on most other people but I will show you undo the packaging so yeah they were really lovely as well in in um, Burberry and Harrods really really lovely so it's done it in nice for me it's in this little holder there it's got some so if you were going somewhere you could just put it on your shoulder don't know why we just wear it, but whatever. Um, but yeah, really nice to have that in case you are packing or going going away. Just poppers. And also, it just you know, it means it's just going to stay nice. If I want to just have it hung up in the wardrobe, it's just going to be nice. And they asked me if I wanted to hang on. I think this piece. So let's get this out. You know, I'll tell you exactly what I got. Look at that. So I got the Chelsea, the Burberry Chelsea trench coat in the colour 
Honey. It comes in this, or I think it's called Midnight Blue. There's the only two shades available of this one, and I got it in the long length. I wanted it as long as possible. Now, seeing that I'm not very long, it comes down quite low on me, which I think is great. I mean, I would have had it longer if I could, but um, this is the longest that they do. So yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it's classic. I think it's versatile. I quite like the colour on me. Um, I just really love it. I think, I mean, like, you know, it goes with the neutrals that I'm wearing. I think that a trench coat is a classic piece, and I think particularly if you go quite classic. And, you know, for England especially, we get a lot of rain, but it's not always cold. I mean, you know, we get a fair bit of cold. Um, so sometimes you do just want something that's going to give you coverage and almost, like, protect you from the wind, but you don't want it too thick. And especially for me, where I do a lot of walking to and from the, the train station, I'm always late, I'm always rushing, I get hot. So I don't always want, I'd rather have like um, a scarf and like a, and a trench than having a big thick coat. I mean, obviously in the depths of winter, this isn't going to be warm enough. But for a lot of seasons, in England especially, it really will be. So I just really love the style. I think it's a proper like London look. I'm a London girl, so, well, Sussex at the moment, but, you know, I'm in the city, you know, normally every week, and I just think it will look great. So I will change camera angle, show you some mod shots so you can see what it looks like on me. I'll talk you through my size and that um, for a reference point. I'm going to cut the labels off, and that's it, really. I'll see you in a second. Before I try it on, just look lining you can see there it says the Chelsea made in England but just look at that how fab okay so you can see it here looking quite elegant I've tied it at the back not very well that needs a bit of practice but just so you can see that's one way we can also just undo these bits here and just have it completely completely open and just flowing. Now with the Chelsea compared to like the Kensington it's a lot more fitted here. I found the arms short on the Kensington the arms were too long on me. It's more fitted to the waist and then it flows out a little bit. Not as much as for example the dual trench coat which is stunning. Bessie Lorna has that one but um it's very expensive it's beautiful but i wanted burberry i wanted to have something you know every day that i wouldn't be worried about wearing so that's one way of wearing it there right if you also wanted to have it completely done up i mean it's got many buttons you can sort of fasten it inside first but if i just want to do it up And then you can just you can just tie that. If it's really really wet and windy out, proper English day, then we can um, do it up here. Obviously, doing everything just with a viewfinder is amazing. So that's that. It's got this um, hook here as well, so you could just. Alright, that's very tucked in. If you wanted to do this using the tie properly, you can go in. Do it up. It's quite long this tie. I will say that. It's quite long. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a proper play around with it. But that is how it fits on me. I got a UK size six, and I'm five foot three, and a smidge. I'll insert some photographs of me 
wearing this in store so you can see it. It's hard to get full length in here. So I will show you that. Take care everybody, if anyone's got any questions, let me know. I'll put a link in the description box below. Bye.